welcome back to Cosmoholics Anonymous. I am your favorite girl, Bo Vintage, and today's video is definitely a Q&A, yes! So I haven't done a Q&A in a minute. I posted like two days ago, maybe yesterday, I don't fucking know, on my Instagram and requested that you guys ask me quite well. I said Q&A and y'all ask me questions. There are a bunch of questions here. Some of the questions are ridiculous, so they probably won't get answered. Other questions have already been answered, so they probably won't be answered. I'm going to start at the top of the list and go down and answer the questions that I think need to be answered. And if we don't feel like the question needs to be answered, then it won't get an answer. I'm going to act like I ain't seen a bitch. So I also do have my drink because I know that you guys are crazy. And as I was getting these notifications, I was seeing some questions and I was like, yeah, I'm going to need a drink today. So... And lastly, because I know motherfuckers like to point out the obvious, no, I'm not wearing any makeup. Thank you very much for inquiring. So let's get it ship hopping. What annoys you most? Stupid people, stupid questions, and liars. Like people that lie for no fucking reason. Don't even get me started because this is going to take a turn for the worse. Would you like to show us one of your drawings? For sure. Is Paris going to be the godmom? Of course! What the fuck kind of question is that? Oh my gosh, of course! Do you think you will be a better parent to a little boy or a little girl? I think I will be a awesome parent to whoever God throws in my belly. That's it. I don't think it will matter if it's a boy or a girl. No matter what, I'll be an awesome parent to whoever I get. So, yeah. Would you ever consider going back to school? Maybe? I don't know. Depends, like, I may wake up mo one morning and be like, wow, I really want to be an archaeologist. <laughs> I don't even know what the fucking archaeologist is, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I might wake up one morning and be like, I want to go to school. Because I'm weird like that, like, life is so fly-by-night for me, so that could happen. But um, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't really put my money on it. Do you have any secret talents? And if you could choose a talent, what could it be? What would it be? She's got a smile that it seems to me. Remind me of childhood memories. Where everything is as bright as bright blue sky. <laughs> I don't have any fucking talents. Okay, I'm, I am a one trick pony. <laughs> if I can have a talent, it would be to sing really, really good. Like, I'm talking really good. I'm talking like put Beyonce out of business good okay if I had a talent it would probably be that I could sing or play an instrument like the guitar or the piano like I stated earlier that's really it I'm pretty talented anyway so very art oriented how would you deal with overprotective parents I would rebel I didn't even have like over overly protective parents and I still rebelled so <laughs> I'm just a rebel Without a cause. So let me say, did you ever break your middle finger? No, why? Is there something wrong with them? No. Is it because it's curved? Because, um, they just are. I never broke it. I've never broken any bone or anything in my body. I'm strong okay out of all the shooters kitchen meals which one would you say was the best good googly moogly listen out of the first very first shooters kitchen tacos well we always have tacos but like tacos are one of my favorite meals and um that macaroni and cheese shooter made was literally the best mac and cheese i ever had in my life so i'm gonna give it to the macaroni and cheese the lobster mac and cheese, I didn't have lobster, I just had regular mac and cheese. It was so good, you guys. Like, I hate that you guys can't taste the shit, because you guys just have to take my word for it and his word for it. <laughs> the shit was so fucking good. Like, I can't even explain to you guys, it was so yummy and, like, everything and then some. I was here for it, 100%. Um, macaroni and cheese, for sure. Out of all of the Shooter's Kitchens, it was the macaroni and cheese. Would you teach your children... Patois or French. Definitely going to have my kids in French immersion because I do want them to be bilingual, especially because of where we live now. They'll definitely know Patois, especially because my, <laughs> I have a nephew that's always with my mom and because she speaks Patois, sometimes he speaks it too. <laughs> and it's uh, honestly the sweetest thing ever and that's exactly what's going to happen with my kids. They're definitely going to speak Patois. My mom always tries to tell me that my kids are going to, my their first words are going to be curse words because me and Shooter swear so much. But but um, no, I'm not going to curse around my babies and yeah, no, I hope, I hope not. That would suck. My baby's first word is going to be fucking, 
or motherfucking. <laughs> like, could you imagine? Motherfucking, like, no, 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 no. We gotta, we gotta get a swear jar going before I get pregnant. What's your favorite chicken wing flavor? You know what? I'm like a classic girl, so I really love a classic barbecue wing. But that salt and pepper or lemon pepper dry rub, baby. Oh my gosh. Lemon pepper on my wing. Like, <laughs> I love a dry rub on a wing. I really do. Popeye's motherfucking hot wings, bitch. Them shits right there, and I don't fuck with Popeyes like that. Like, I'm not a Popeyes person. I don't like any fried chicken place, but them hot wings from Popeyes are stupid good, and I just can't motherfucking nail. What's your dream vacation? Running away to a mother effing island and never coming back. <laughs> like, obviously stay alive, but just never have to come back to the cold ass Canada. That's my dream vacation, a permanent one. <sighs> when do you and Shooter plan on getting married? When Shooter's done school, um, we'll go to the courthouse and do it up. Like, he's done school next month, so sometime this year. If me and Shooter are not married by the end of the year, there will be no more Shooter's kitchen and there will be no more Shooter. <laughs> Best advice to young black girls. Love the motherfucking skin you are in, bitch. Okay? And don't ever let nobody call you a bitch. <laughs> Yo, I'm a nut. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles every motherfucking time. But I did just go to McDonald's and order some hotcakes because they got all day breakfast. And it's, yeah, it went like an hour ago maybe. Maybe two hours ago. Do you want a pet? I do, but I feel like a pet is extra re responsibility, extra money, and unnecessary right now because my next venture <laughs> in terms of responsibilities in terms of adding anything extra onto my plate would have to be a baby um so i don't really want to get a pet until i have a child and i'll get my child like a kitty cat for its like second birthday or something <laughs> i do want a pet right now but there's a couple reasons i can't have one one my landlord said hell to the na 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 and two because um i want to have a baby so i don't want to burden myself with having to buy cat food and kitty litter and whatever else my cat would need because i'm trying to save money for my future and for my future kids what does shooter do to you with you that no guy you've ever been with has girl i don't know how to answer this question everything and then some how about that <laughs> Everything and then some. What's one of Shooter's habits that takes you off? I might have to do a whole rant video on this, to be honest. But this man will come home from school every single motherfucking day and not lock my front fucking door. It is the one thing, well, one of the many things about interracial dating that I cannot deal with. And I'm not even joking. <laughs> like, the man does not lock the front door. I'm like... He has, it's not even about fearing somebody coming into my house. It's just a security measure that needs to be taken. I grew up locking my motherfucking front door. And that's how I would like to keep it. I don't want my kids to grow up and think that not locking the door is normal. And this motherfucker don't lock his damn door. Like, he doesn't give one shit. This man come up in the house and don't lock my door. And I'm like, yo, did you lock the door? And he'll tell me he can't remember. And I'm like, the answer is no, you did not. And then I have to go downstairs before I... Like, as soon as he comes home, I ask him. And sometimes, if I'm lucky, he will lock one of the locks. But, like, I need both locks secured, okay? Not just one lock, but two, bitch. Like, I, I can't do the one lock. You gotta have both of them bitches locked down. But nine times out of ten, neither of the locks are locked. And I have a problem with that. A serious fucking problem. Like, I can't. Don't be dating these white people, okay? <laughs> do you ever think of what you'd be doing if you didn't do YouTube? No, I don't want to think about that. Like, no, no, no. What's your favorite thing to do? Eat. How is living in Ottawa? It's great. It's quiet. It's boring. For me, quiet and boring are pros. <laughs> Cons, there's nothing to do. So as much as you love the quiet and boring atmosphere, sometimes it's like you want to do something and then you're like, well, what is there to do? And there's really nothing. And so all you can do is like go to your favorite restaurant and pig out and get fat. So <laughs> that's basically it. If you've seen or watched the Get Out trailer, how do you feel about the film? Get Out was hilarious. It definitely kept you on your toes. I liked it a lot. And I'm glad that Jordan Peele is the 
uh, I'm glad it was his film. Um, black excellence all day, every day. For his first film, it was very, very well executed and thought out and I'm very happy and proud of him. I enjoyed the movie a lot. There wasn't a lot of people in the theater when we went to go see it because we went to go see it like last Thursday and uh, it was in the middle of the day. <laughs> so it was cool. I really enjoyed it. Do you believe that it takes a village to raise a child? And if so, would a teacher or family member be allowed to spank or punish your child? Yes, I do believe it takes a village to raise a child, but the only people that I would allow to spank my child would be his or her aunties or my mother. Nobody else. A teacher, I will fuck them up. If you touch my kid, I will fuck you up. Same goes for a friend. I mean, Paris can if she needs to, but I know Paris would never. Paris, I don't even think Paris got spanks or beatings when she was a kid, so she. I don't think she's going to be down for the beating life. My kid is definitely allowed to be punished by people that I give permission to, but a teacher, how the fuck no, because I will literally fuck the teacher up and go to jail if they touch my kid or disrespect my kid. I don't care how bad the kid is being, do not touch my kid and do not speak to my kid in a condescending way because I will have you in that motherfucking office hanging by your damn fucking key card bitch or whatever, okay? Like, don't ever in your life. I don't even have kids and I'm getting passionate about this shit, but it's, I'm for real, like, do not. Will you teach your future kids they're mixed or just black? Um, I don't want my kids to be caught up in the fact that they are biracial, but I'll definitely instill in them and they'll definitely know what it is to be black for sure because at the end of the day, when I look at a mixed person, I don't say they're biracial, I say that person is black. Like, I don't give a fuck. My kids are gonna identify as black, I know, because I'm their mom. They're gonna have brown skin. At the end of the day, when a white person sees a biracial person, they still consider them a nigga at the end of the day. At the end of the day, we all niggas to them, so it's like, obviously, my kids are going to have to face that, and um, they're gonna understand. I will definitely teach them the differences. I think because of how Shooter is, my kids are gonna think that they're full black, they're gonna think that their daddy is a light-skinned man. Like, I don't fucking know. I just, honestly, I don't think about that thing. Like, I don't want race to be such a big deal in my kids' life, in my kids' lives. Like, I don't want to put that pressure on them. Um, I just, I want them to understand what it is to be black, and I want them to understand that they are biracial, and that the world may not accept them. I know that a lot of people that are biracial complain that they were too light for the black kids and too dark for the white kids. I understand that and so I'm just gonna just I'm just gonna have to take that one um, on the chin I guess and, and see what happens with my kids. My kids gonna be cool as shit though so I don't think my I think my kids will be strong and um, know how to deal with people like I do. My kids ain't gonna take no shit. I dare a motherfucker <laughs> to try my kid in the in the playground or or in the schoolyard. I dare somebody to try my kid. Like, mm. okay, we'll whoop ass, okay? How does Shooter feel about your sex toy collection? He doesn't give one single fuck. <laughs> he doesn't care. The only time, <laughs> the only time he'll complain about it is if like. I leave something in the shower one day and or I forget something in the shower he'll like go in there and see it and like he'll yell for me to take it out because he doesn't want to see it but, but like what am I supposed to do like sometimes you just gotta fix yourself so um yeah like if I wake up horny and this nigga's gone to school what am I supposed to do I'm gonna I'm deal with the matas like <laughs> what so yeah he doesn't care even though he doesn't care about it he doesn't care to see it in the shower because then he knows that I've been bad you know what I mean would you like summer all day every day or sometimes winter summer all day every day what kind of question is that who wants the winter I don't give a fuck about the winter like the snow is only pretty to look at but once you have to be in it and be in the cold you're like what is this fuckery like nobody wants to be in the snow and the cold like it's ridiculous so summer all day every day i wish what is your favorite and least favorite quality about yourself i think my favorite quality about myself is that i don't give a fuck <laughs> um my least favorite quality about myself 
is that I overanalyze and I overthink things and I do too much and like even the answer I'm giving right now like why why didn't I just say I overanalyze like why am I elaborating <laughs> Um, I think that's my least favorite quality about myself and sometimes I don't know that I'm doing this but well I know that I'm doing like when it's happening I don't know I'm doing it the fact that I always think that I'm right don't tell anybody I said that <laughs> I feel like a lot of the times I think I know something but I really don't and I get proven wrong and then I just feel stupid after how did your mother handle you being bulimic I don't think she knew until I posted the video so I don't know. <laughs> Will Shooter ever do a spicy seafood edition of Shooter's Kitchen? Uh, that's up to Shooter to decide. I don't really have a lot of input in Shooter's Kitchen. I let him do his thing or you guys tell him what to do. I don't really care what he does on Shooter's Kitchen. The only thing is that because I am supposed to be the taste tester and the producer, director, chow, filmographer <laughs> um, because I'm supposed to do everything and then some behind the scenes and, and, and in front of the camera I don't eat seafood and so that's kind of why he doesn't do a lot of seafood but that's why when he did the macaroni and cheese with the lobster I got my own macaroni and cheese or he made me a separate batch of macaroni and cheese and he did his with the lobster um, but I tell him all the time just because I'm not eating something doesn't mean that he, do he can't cook it so that's really up to him if y'all want spicy seafood, you gotta let him know. When did you start wearing makeup and getting your nails? And I started wearing makeup, li oh, like literally the least amount of makeup. I don't even mean foundation in in high school, obviously, when I was 15. And when I was 16 is when I first got my nails done. And I've been getting them done all the time. I mean, ever since then. <laughs> How are you recovering after Remy's first diss track? Is your neck okay? Pray for bougie. <laughs> Yeah, my neck is a lot better. I just have to wear this little brace now. <laughs> if you weren't dating Shooter, who would you be dating? She's 5'2", black, she has brown eyes. She has a YouTube channel with 200 something thousand subscribers. She's a mess. Other words, I would be single. What kind of question is this? Like, get your life. Like, what are you asking me? If I wasn't dating Shooter, who would I be dating? What kind of disrespectful ass? Answer are you expecting me to get right now? I would be dating myself. I would be single as fuck. Like, come on. Come on, man. Come on. But you know what the scary thought is? Like, if me and Shooter broke up, I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. I would just be like, whoa, like, wh I'm single? What? What am I supposed to do now? Like, I would be so dazed and confused and, like, lost. But I would still be single. Like, I ain't fucking with these niggas at all. I would be single. I would have to get a sperm donor to have a baby. Because I ain't, I'm not, and if Shooter and I don't make it, I am not entering into a new relationship. I'll tell you that right now. I'm gonna get a cat. <laughs> How would you react if a drama channel made a video about you? I'd be lit. Uh, hopefully they have over a million subscribers and get me some new subscribers, some more subscribers, honey. <laughs> I wouldn't really care, to be honest. I, I, I wouldn't want that just because, like, child, what would the video be about? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Um... It just depends on what the video was about. If it was really negative, obviously I wouldn't want that because I'm not the type of person that's like, oh, any publicity is good publicity. But like, if it worked out in my favor, of course I would love it. But uh, I wouldn't want it to be something really negative at all. But yeah, I tried to stay out of drama, especially YouTube drama, because chat, y'all know, is very present. But I with the shits. Like, I mind my business and I do my thing. Like, I I'm not worried about anybody else other than my fucking self. Somebody asked me if I want to come to the Bahamas. Are you paying, honey? Because I'm down for the cows. She said it's her for her wedding, child. I will do your makeup for free. You, you pay for my trip to the Bahamas, child. Um, no, I lied. No. <laughs> I lied. I, I lied. How do you feel about drama between YouTubers? I think it's dumb as fuck. Like, YouTube is such a big community. It's big enough for everybody. Everybody's getting a check. Why is anybody mad? Why? Like... I hate it so much. It's so annoying. It's so petty. And I'm just like, I hope to, g I pray that I never get sucked into anything like that. Like, some motherfuckers be trying it. They really do. But, like, I just be ignoring them motherfuckers because I'm just like, you guys are dumb. Like, dumb. Real fucking dumb. You will not catch me in a, in a YouTube beef or quarrel with anybody. It's just so damaging to your brand. But I feel like a lot of YouTubers get into it. And I'm just like, why? Like... They give me a fucking headache, but I love to I love to see the tea unfold. That's what I do love. <laughs>
Does Shooter eat ass? Oh yeah, Shooter eats lots of ass. He'll eat your ass, bitch. These fucking people. 